Okay, sis, the Bible said it's people that's out here that's speaking lies, right? Now that you're looking at that image, hold that up for me. Let me see where that's at. Okay, so the image of the beast, sis, is this is this white image right here in the Bible? Is that in the Bible? It's not in the Bible, right? So let's see in the Bible what the true color of Christ is. But first, what's your name? Miss Clay. Miss Clay. Okay, so do you see yourself on this sign? You do, right? Where you at, sis? Because on, on your left, that's what God calls you. On the right side is what your enemy calls you. So right here, is you Judah, Benjamin, Levi? Would you, would you see yourself right here? Okay, so God calls you an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That's, right. that's what you are. So watch this. Read Deuteronomy 28, 15. We're going to explain what happened to us, and then we're going to explain the true image of Christ. All right? Up. Read this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. You with me, Miss Clay? You with me? Come on. But it shall come to pass. So God said it shall come to pass. Moses is a black man, and he told the Israelites, he said it shall come to pass, meaning it's going to happen. Let's see. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Miss, Miss Clay, it said listen to the voice of the Lord thy God, meaning your God. He's not the God of everybody. He said, listen to the voice of the Lord thy God. What's in this Bible? If you believe, you're going to do what the Bible say do. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. To what? To do all his commandments. Sis, we got to come back to teach God's laws and do his commandments, That's all of them. Because right. in these churches, guess what? What they say, you ever been to church before? All the time. Okay, I got a question for you. In the church, is they teaching you what's in the Bible? They not, is they? They come into you for money, but when you need money, they go. They tell you go to God. Bring come on now. Since you got to really understand, the Bible said we have been taught lies. Lies of a white man. And when you go to these churches on Sunday, guess what? You sitting here going in them churches and they not teaching you nothing in the Bible. But yet, that's why every week you go into a job and you look, they get that money. Guess what? But the job you work, they pay you just enough to stay but never enough to leave. Right. And then the church pastor suck the money dry. So, sis, that's what we was going on. You go to church too, right? What's your name? Huh? Ms. Young. Ms. Young and Ms. Clay. Okay, read on. To observe, to do all his commandments. So we have to do God's commandments. Christmas is not a commandment. Wearing a cross on your neck is not a commandment. That's not in the Bible. God said not to do those things. Read. And his statutes which I command thee this day. This day, right now. God said we have to do his commandments this day, Miss Young, Miss Clay. Come on. That all these curses. All these what? All these curses. God said for the disobedience of the blacks and Hispanics, the Israelites. He said your disobedience will bring what on you? All these curses. Don't you see we are cursed people? How long have you watched generation to generation grow up and then they got to sit there and watch the mama go to work and then she say, I raised my kids by myself, but you didn't throw them in daycare for eight hours. You didn't put 40 hours working with the white man, but you right. spend 15, 15 hours a week with your kids. Right. You don't get to spend time with your kids, but it's because we don't want to touch and pick up the Bible no more. That's why you keep got to serve your enemies, 48. We gonna read and learn. God said he gonna put curses on the Israelites. That's who you truly are. Come on. Verse 48. Read. Therefore. God said, therefore, come on. Thou shalt serve thine enemy. God said you're going to serve your enemy. Miss Young, Miss Clay, because look, y'all are older generation, right? Why you see a lot of young men coming together, but yet the older men don't step up and fight this? You know how many things that they could have taught us young men to stop killing each other, how not to end up on child support, how not to end up with a woman that don't want to, uh, the father be around his kids, to end up killing and shooting each other? Didn't back in the day they used to fight and stand up? But now when we hear the Bible, we only want to try to cleave to it a little bit on Sunday. So hold on, Miss Clay. Watch this. Read. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee. And so God said you're going to have curses. I'm going to get one law because I can see you in a rush. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. You believe in the Bible? You believe in the Bible. So let's see on Sunday. What's the name of the church you go to, sis? Unity. Unity. You know the Bible is all about unity. Right. But yet still, why is it the pastors, when they unite, they're the only ones getting their pockets hit? Why is it that you still have to have debt and bills? All the church, we done gave over $400 billion to the church since the early 1900s, right. but yet you still got bills to pay. You can't go to your pastor and say, hey, look, I'm missing on rent. I need my car note. My kids got to go to school. They don't do that. They don't help you. And look, they don't do it no more, but they buy Ferraris. They buy brand new Bentleys and Jaguars. They got a brand new house. You will never see a broke Christian pastor out here, but you will always see the congregation boat. Bring it out. Why? 
because we are being led astray from this Bible. So, sis, this is one of the things you could do to now make the change that we need to see. Because ain't you tired of going through what you're going through? Ain't you tired of sitting having to wake up every day and go serve the white man? Then he hit your check when he get paid. Then when you spend it, he hit your check again with taxes. Brother, man, we're going to deal with you in one second. Read on. Hold on, sis. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Come around this way for me. We're going to read it. Come around this way for me. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Miss Clay, so look, young brother, this is something that the women are commanded to do in the Bible. Let's see if you heard this before. Miss Clay, we're going to see if you believe. Come on. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So God said as an Israelite woman, a princess of God, he said he cares about the way you dress. He cares about the way you look and what you put on your body. He said the woman shall not what? Wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What's that talk about, Miss Clay? Because I know you've been going to church every Sunday. What God just say? The woman shall not wear what? What you think? What you think the Bible talking about? The woman shall not wear what? What is a piece of clothing that the woman is not supposed to wear? Read on. Let's see if the next part will help you out. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. God said, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, a woman's piece of clothing. What is something that men are not supposed to wear that belongs to women? What you think? A dress. What you think? You agree with that, Miss Clay? Yeah. Okay, so Miss Clay, you agree that the man is not supposed to wear a dress. That's that's commanded by God, right? Yeah. Read it from the top. The woman shall not wear. Miss Clay shall not wear what? That which pertaineth unto a man. What's that? Man clothes. What's a man clothes that women not supposed to wear? Pants, sis. So now we got to actually see. You love God, right? Oh, uh, here we go. John 14, 15. Two scriptures, sis. You said you love God. So now we're trying to teach you. We cannot be in a rush to try to lead away the Bible. You see men of God stepping up for their community, but then we don't want to. We'll get a Christian church two, five, ten, twelve hours, but now we can't get five minutes for the men that's really teaching the truth. Right. You're going to learn more scriptures right here in the time that you just spent your whole life at church because they've been lying to us. Come on. The book of John, chapter 14 and verse 15. This is what Christ said. What's your name? Corey, okay, sis, okay. real quick, watch this. If ye love me. So God said, if you love him, what you going to do? Keep my commandments. And one of the commandments you just learned, 2 Corinthians 8, 12, 8 24, is that you cannot wear pants. God wants you to cover your body up and wear a dress. If you look and see during the times of slavery, even the women was covering their body up. So why is it? Because when a man look at you, now he's not going to be lusting and looking at your body. Now you're going to start thinking of putting strong family structure. And that's what's missing in the black community. Right. That's why you always see women out here by themselves, yeah. but they got kids and the man somewhere running around with drugs, running around with guns. He's spending more time on the block. We got to really come back to the laws of the Bible. So you say you love God. Watch this. Their last verse, and then you can choose life or death. It's up to you. Because if you don't do what God tells you to do, judgment is going to come. Right. God, gonna, God want all the smoke. You don't want to get it. Come on. Book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 8 and verse 24. Read on, because you love God too, right? We're going to see. Watch this. Wherefore, show ye to them. Show unto them that you love God. You got to actually show. Because a lot of people see that they, they say they love God, but they don't ever want to do nothing in the Bible. If you continue to wear pants, my sister, that shows that you don't love God. Right. Read. And before the churches. Uh-huh. Before the churches, because you go every Sunday. Read. The proof. The proof. Of your love. You got to show proof that you love God. Right. And your proof is your evidence and your actions is showing that you love God. The proof that we love God is we're going to wear fringes like the Bible tells us. The proof is I'm not going to steal from my brother. The proof is, brother, when we see you, that we out here teaching and doing what God told us to do. We're not going to wait till you work all week and then take money out your pocket on every Sunday. Right. So we're going to show that you have to, you got to have proof and evidence that you love God. And how do you love God? He said, if you love me, keep my what? John 14, 15. He said, if you love me, keep my what, sis? Keep, keep the commandments. So now that God said you're supposed to cover your body up, what is it that you must wear to show that you love God? A dress. A skirt. Now wait, is it like a tight dress to show your body off or a short, short skirt? What kind of skirt and dress? Uh, 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 you gotta dress modestly like you tell us in the Bible. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission.
Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth.